Welcome to our Urban Oasis. This is presented to you by Christian Alliance International School. So we will first introduce our overall concept and design philosophy of the park. Our rationale is founded by the ideology of having an urban oasis in the city. So Hong Kong is an international trading hub and it is densely, heavily populated and competitive city. We, citizens live in a very fast-paced lifestyle, resulting in constant pressure and stress. And in the area near Hong Kong, where the park is situated, is especially occupied and busy compared to the rest of Hong Kong. Therefore, it's full of tensions. Our goal for this park is to create an urban oasis, which provides escape from all the stress, tension, and pressure from the busy activities in Hong Kong. We aim to help citizens slow down from this fast-paced lifestyle. Moreover, there's a huge amount of human traffic in the Hong Kong area. We hope that our park can give these people a resting place, a therapeutic environment. Our design will allow a large public recreation area as well. Lastly, our park will be connected to the Star Avenue and become an extension of the Harbour Walk. This is the very first draft of our park, and it mainly focuses on a circular design. We choose this draft because we believe that the concept of unity and harmony is integral to our design. Circular-based park designs are also uncommon in Hong Kong, which makes this park more unique. So for our design features, we have graphic design. So for the colors we chose, is mostly green because green is a very common color in nature. We also used brown because these are earth tone and soft colors which can help with relaxation and alleviation from stress. Overall, we wanted to portray a visual contrast with the colors of the modern buildings, a visual separation from the city, leading back to our goal to create an urban oasis. Green and brown, etc. are all colors of nature. These colors help people relate back to nature and isolate them from the busy city. This also brings about the theme of peace and tranquility. For materials, we use mostly wood, stone break, and grass. These are all common materials in nature, and they help connect back to nature and separate the park from the city. We also avoid using concrete materials as much as possible since they are very common in the city and we want the urban oasis to look different from the monotonous shades of the city. So our next feature is sustainability. To achieve this, we have solar panels on the canopy of the path and this generates electricity through sunlight and this can help sustain energy supply of the park. And we also have aquaponics and this can help provide vegetables and fish, fish at the same time. It can be used to educate children about how biology can be incorporated into technology as well. So our last feature is variety. This ranges from quiet to active. The areas in the park ranges in this spectrum from a quiet to active. So basically, the activeness of the different areas of the park increases, increases from the bottom left to the top right. The four main areas of the park includes quiet area, educational and family area, performance area, and exercise and play area. The areas in the park range in the spectrum from quiet to active. The activeness in different areas of the park increases from the bottom left to the top right. The four main areas of the park include the quiet area, the educational and family area, the performance area, and the exercise and play area. First, we are going to take a look at the quiet area. The quiet area has separate pods with chairs and tables. It also has trees surrounding the area. These pods separate the visitors from their surroundings, which provides a quiet space for them to relax. Here are some chairs and tables for them to do some quiet activities, such as reading or chatting. There are also bike racks near the quiet pods where people can rent or store their bikes.
Here we also have a dome, or also known as the small workshop. This workshop relates to the farming techniques and it can be used to educate children about urban farming and promote community, agriculture, or local farming. There are also some workshop tables inside and behind the pile of workshop tables, there is a small farm for participants to get a hands-on farming experience. Next, we have the aquaponics area. Here is a wooden platform with a pond for aquaponics next to it. The aquaponics system can facilitate the sustainability of the park. It can be also used as an example to promote the use of science and technology in our society. Here are a few tiny hills for children to play around with. There are also some fish in the pond to look at. This is a good place for family with children to spend their time. Parents can sit next to the pond while their children play at the hills. This is a large area of a community farm. It is mainly used as a local source of food production. Moreover, the farm is open for visitors to take a tour and guides can introduce information about each plant alongside. Depending on the season, visitors can also have hands-on experience harvesting the crops from the farm. The next section is the educational and family area. This area contains the small farms. It is for children to learn about farming and planting techniques, which is a rare opportunity in the urban city. It allows family activities to promote a healthy family relationship. The observation deck allows visitors to get a good view of the whole park from a high place. It can be used as a landmark of the park and for visitors to take photos. The open area on the deck also offers a light breeze for visitors. Here is an open area for performances. This area can be used for musical performances, magic performances, or even acrobatics. All in all, it offers visitors entertainment from routine and mundane modern life. Finally, we have the exercise and play area. There's, there is one open area for yoga and small fitness. Yoga and stretching encourages the idea of relaxation, calmness, and peacefulness. Although yoga and exercise are often tiring, it is healthy both physically and mentally. This area can provide visitors with a sense of calmness amidst the fast-paced lifestyle in Hong Kong. Here we have a playground with a trampoline, mainly for children to have fun and play around. The playground is mainly composed to a few nets and trampolines. Meanwhile, parents can sit at a bench next to the playground. Finally, we have an outdoor gym. Exercises can help increase physical health and body strength. The outdoor gym allows visitors to enjoy the fresh air and sunshine while doing exercises. <laughs>